I had a great question coming to me the other day. Golfer was really struggling with the fats and the overdraws come hooks. They felt that we were doing a couple of really different things to make both those shots happen, but they were very much from the same mold, same family of issues. So let's take that into account. So they're hitting the ground before the ball or they're overdrawing the golf ball or even worse, both at the same time. But you might think, hang on, these are two really different issues. Well, yeah, the result's very different, but it's come from the same family. We need to understand why those two shots happen. So what tends to happen when we overdraw the ball, when the ball misses left, it means simply the club face is more than likely closed. In more often than not the situation, nine times out of 10, that club face has to be closed. It could be the path for all you, um, for all you swing geeks out there, but more often than not, it's more that club face being closed. And the ground before ball, that club is bottoming out. It's just dumping before the golf ball. That's when we catch a lot of ground or the big ball before the little ball, as they say, the earth before the, before the actual golf ball itself. So what's the fix here? How do we hit the ball straighter and how do we hit the ball cleaner? Well, a lot of it is down to the fact that we're actually stopping our lower body. And this is the same with this golfer who posed the question to me not so long ago. So he, this golfer was coming into the golf ball, good backswing, good setup, good backswing, and pretty good downswing to about here. But the problem is this golfer just completely stopped their lower body from moving. So the problem is when they stopped their lower body from moving, what tended to happen is the club either bottomed out or the club kept going, had what we call the T-Rex arms, because the arms had no room with which to straighten, and really turning that club face because the hands had to keep moving, something had to keep moving because something had to keep moving the golf club. And in this case, especially when it went left, he timed it so the club face was just really, really close. And that's when he struck it quite well. So the problem there was, and that I say the same thing going, the reason they caught the ground before the ball and all that ball curving off to the left was because this golfer stopped the lower body. So my tip to you guys out there who hits that ground, sends that ball left, you've got to keep that lower body moving towards a target. Feel the belt buckle pointing at your target at the end of the swing, okay? I'm not saying to you, swing your upper body at it, definitely not. We're trying to make sure the lower body is taking control of both the face and the low point of that golf club. So that lower body is in control of the face and the low point and not the hands and the arms. We need to make sure that lower body is really turning and pushing through towards the target. Feel at the end of the swing, your belt buckle is very much facing that target at the end to keep going, to make sure one, you're striking it cleaner, and to two, to keep that face nice and stable on the way through. No real excess rotation, so we're relying on timing. We're just keeping that face nice and stable on the way through. Belt buckle towards that target. Hope this helps, hope this makes sense. Get that belt buckle turning, 